it's a Lucian Lucian. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to be here today. Um, <laughs> Where's the slow? Uh, <laughs> England mm -hmm. couldn't be here today, so he asked me to fill in. And I'm very excited because I always wanted to be part of quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I always wanted to get out there and do a couple of rounds part of, part of a team and people always ask me how many legs does a tripod have and I'm like four I've <laughs> <laughs> so, been proven right up all these years so I'm very excited to introduce to you now the uh, second leg of a four legged quarantine <laughs> Steve Austin, everybody! <laughs> oh, someone found the features on their new webcam. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not even tech savvy at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, it's good to be here. Uh, we some of us we just got back from the protest. Uh, I will say, based on my social media, the more that people say all lives matter, the more they are proving themselves wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will say, uh, I, I will say Stallone it was a lone slam. If that's a Stallone slam, I, I take personal offense to that. It is, I know better than to hit someone who's already punch drunk. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if you want to support the show, please do so. At, but this is the stuff of nightmares. If you want to support the show, please do. <laughs> say also, let me just say then, since you talk about the protest, Steve and I and Rachel were just out there and had an incredible day, very moving, very beautiful. Like, I think it was probably over 100,000 people, but easily bigger than the crowd that was last week in Hollywood. Amazing, peaceful, beautiful people handing out oranges and Capri Suns fighting for human rights. It was an incredible thing to be part of. And I hope everybody goes out there and does something, says something, stands up, posts something, just do something in solidarity. If we all get on board, then we can create real lasting change because you can't fight everybody. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we'll, we'll probably talk more about it uh, throughout the show. Um, if you want to support the show, you can do so. Uh, top right is our Venmo. Uh, you can PayPal at laughfromhome.com or of course, you can super chat. We always appreciate the Venmo and the PayPal a little bit more, so YouTube doesn't take all the money. Uh, and of course, Facebook stars Nether Super Hearts on Twitter. We don't even know what the fuck's going on. The point is, we appreciate you supporting the show. And uh, if you want to continue to, that would be great. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, the third leg of our four-legged quadrupod. Chris Bowers, everybody. Chris Bowers. <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm. Fresh off being a GIF, which I really liked. Uh, thank you, Gary, for making that GIF of me eating the hot dog <laughs> yesterday. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, I, I, I should have quit while I was ahead. I shouldn't have done the second hot dog. I'm pretty upset about that. The first one went so perfectly. I should have just hit my half-court shot and been done, but I tried to be better and whatever. But Sorry. it's still a hilarious <laughs> GIF, and I'm excited to eat a hot dog that fast. So uh, thanks for showing up. It fun. It's an exciting yeah. moment for you, but just so you know, you could have become a GIF years earlier if you just keep going to the like that. <laughs> that's how kim kardashian got famous right so anyway uh, <laughs> uh, i, I should have done that earlier i guess uh anyway queen rachel's here too queen how you doing how are I'm you good surviving? so zara and i decided to get haircuts everybody and we're revealing it on today's show <laughs> uh, zara well, can't wait to see yours this is awesome we're so glad to have special guest joan jett here with us we're really excited for queen joan i love rock and roll uh we're we're happy to have you rachel uh thanks for, thanks for uh the whatever the hell that is <laughs> Do we have any chats already? Do we have anything coming in? We have some Facebook stars, um, G uh, Gabby Guzman and Ismail Rodriguez. So thanks, guys. Thank you much. Uh, we did not have an overnight game last night. As much as I found one on Twitter, I did not see an overnight game. So I don't know if I missed it, but I didn't see one. So uh, I think we'll just talk about today's game. Uh, ben, were you in on that uh, text? You want to tell us about today's oh, game? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited to tell you about today's game, you guys. Thanks for asking, Bowers. Tell me when you want me to do it, and I'll go ahead and do that. Right now. <laughs> How about right now? Oh, that's why was that the cue? That, that, yeah, that was the cue, yeah. I understand, yeah. okay. Today's game, you guys. <laughs> people are not four. completely obvious. People miss the cues. That's why I'm so fucking obvious and terrible about it. But then, Hey, Bowers, <laughs> don't interrupt. He's telling us the game. Yeah, what is <laughs> it? You want me to the game? I'm sending a real mixed message here. 
<laughs> anyway, the I'm game, gonna ben? go ahead and assume you want the game. Do you want me to do the game? <laughs> I would like to do the game now, Ben. Yes, please. Okay. I Wait, love Paris, that. Can you tell us the game? <laughs> um, here, you want Bowers introduce the game? That's no problem. Stand by. All right, here we're going to go. Here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I shouldn't have, I should have done two hot dogs. I should have done one hot dog. <laughs> Copy. Turn into a gift by, by sucking wiener dick. You don't do it twice. You don't do it twice. You do it one time. Jesus That's do it. What's that? <laughs> Earlier today, somebody told me there was there was franks and beans in a bucket. I was like, oh! <laughs> I don't believe it. Anyway, today's game. Very excited about it. Today's game is very excited about today's game. Today's game is going to be, you know, the show's got hosts. we got four hosts on the show. Three of us are, are, are hosts that talk a lot, and one host tries to get us to talk less, and that's the four of us. Okay, so that's the host, the quarantine. So we're going to make band names out of the quarantine. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Band band names for for the hosts. All right? So, Steve, you have an example? Uh, Yeah, how about just Queen? <laughs> I like that. All lives matter. I love that. Black lives matter. Gay lives matter. All lives matter. I love that. But I'm not. Why I didn't mean you... to say it in the way. I didn't mean to say it in the way that you're not supposed to say it. The point is, I respect everybody. <laughs> Equality for everybody. I didn't mean to do that while I'm Bowers. I didn't mean to say something. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Absolutely. What the fuck was Absolutely. that just now? <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to edit out the last 60 seconds of the show. We're so happy to have you here. The boy was awkward because you said something for gay rights. I was trying to em em embrace gay rights. I wanted, I don't want to make a joke about your queen jokes. I was trying to embrace it. But then, look, I just embrace the suck, you guys. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, you know what? You guys, okay, good sound check. Should we start the show? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Gleeb's not here. He's fucking never here for sound check. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. The game. If you want to participate in the game, here's how it works. Uh, so it's a band name, uh, a band name for any of us or for the show for all of us, etc. However, however you want to do it. Uh, and uh, the way you submit to the game, you just put it in the comments. Uh, anyone can submit to the game, but if you want a chance to win the prize, which is a copy of all of our albums as well as a ticket to the front row and a ticket to the Nowhere Comedy Club, uh, you can submit your entry with $5 or more, and then it is entered to actually win. Um, and then, oh my god, Bowers, what do you have? Hey, you know, what's up, Isolation Nation? I just want to say that... Why do you Bowers have a framed picture of Chrissy. Ben? Fuck this, fuck this imitation. I want to know this first. Why do you have a framed picture of Ben? <laughs> That's amazing. I have a framed pictures of a bunch of people on my wall over here. I love, wow, look at that. Oh, okay, wow, that's so impressive. How low tech Bowers effects are is just a picture frame of me and my ex girlfriend, <laughs> me and my ex girlfriend, Chrissy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I met Chrissy, actually. I met her through Ben, so I appreciate that. That's right. Ben. That's right. Yeah. Chrissy so dumped me and. Yeah, she dumped me. She said I ate too healthy and she wanted somebody that was on the hot dog train. <laughs> She likes to be I smashed. I have never sex. been That's more confused. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, hey, why don't we introduce the front row at this point? I think we're ready for that at this point, right? So Absolutely. Uh, we've got a great front, row, uh, great front row today. A bunch of our Patreons are here. Some of the people that aren't Patreons. Hang on. Here we go. The gallery view. All right. So we've got uh, Zara from the Patreon. We've got Tan from the Patreon. We've got Frank. We've got Shannon. We've got Ron. We've got. Uh, I think I your names, God damn it. Uh, we, <laughs> Ariel, we've got Jessica. We also have Rosvon's here, and so is Lola. And so. <laughs> hey, and they're all. To work out outside, are you guys trolling me because I'm fat? Is that what this is? Is this fat shaming? I'm so confused. You guys are all working out, and then, well, no, Frank's just doing a nice thing, and then I'm so confused. You guys are both like being yoga people, but then also making fun of my YouTube somehow. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know what I just got up for a second because Henry was barking. I came back and what has happened? <laughs> I was here the whole time and I'm asking the same question. <laughs> I, I also
also want to announce we have two, three, uh, three new Patreons uh, at the ten at the isolation le uh, nation level. Jan Johnson, thank you. Julie Saunders and Cass Cassandra Campbell, all new Patreons. So thanks, guys, for the Patreon. Appreciate that. You can always uh, Patreon.com back or just slash. Sorry, Ben. SDSC. SDSC. Yeah. I just. So, uh, <laughs> is this all? Is this all Psycho Yoga Killer? This is the main Psycho Yoga instructor. This is amazing. <laughs> ding 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 ding. I I honestly Let's forgot say. I was in that movie. I'll be honest with you. I completely forgot oh. I was in that movie. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, this is wonderful. Ed I love you guys. Nation. I like it. Hell yeah. Nice. Wow. Ed Ben Steve should have, should have saved the day at the end of the movie. Absolutely. I, That's what I honestly happen. thought he was going to. But he was just. He was embedded in the over... yoga class as an FBI agent. Like he was just the whole time. Today's overnight game was was get prepared to embody <laughs> Steve's character. I love that. <laughs> that is pretty we amazing. <laughs> I love it. I am, I am we impressed. Also, we at the we coordination also, that that took. It's really, really hilarious. We also have two uh, great comedians. Uh, we have Dwayne Perkins back. Say hello, Dwayne. How are you, buddy? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just let me add, hey. watch, watch Psycho Yoga Killer to my uh, things to do list here. I'm going uh, to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was a thing, but I'm definitely going to watch that. And I'm feeling good. And, and I love you guys. And I love you so much that I'm actually turned away from a Downton Abbey marathon to be with you. <laughs> I love how your brick wall improves every time you're on the show. It gets right. better. <laughs> it was construction paper in the beginning. Remember? I know. I remember. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now it's got a spotlight. By, you go a brick wall yeah. crazy. And we By also way, have. Uh, I'm, yes. Wait, before you do, I just want to say to Dwayne, I'm actually coming to you from a Downton Abbey marathon. So oh, there you go. There you go. Nice. <laughs> I love that we show. We also have. We also have Leah Mansfield's here. Say hello, Leah. How are you? Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, hello. How is everybody? I know you were expecting a woman, and now there's a 12-year-old paper boy. <laughs> yes, that's me. Woo. Well, yes. we're almost back in the Great Depression, so a paper boy is appropriate. Honestly, yes. Correct. Oh. Read all about it. Society falls apart. <laughs> Read all about it. Society's going back to paper. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and guys, I have a special guest to introduce you to as well. Um, he doesn't often stay in my lap, so I have to take advantage of the moment. My new dog, you guys. Look at my new dog. Oh, he's so precious. Hi, Hi. Puppy. Oh, Look at that. Very nice. I know Henry got the world's biggest haircut, and I barely recognize him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if you were, that was a joke or you did get a new dog. I'm like, that does not look like Henry Horst. That's the, right? You got, ben Glebe, you got a Ben Glebe level haircut. Like, that's exactly how much different you look yeah. than your haircut. <laughs> that, 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 that haircut is, is Hank Pony. Right. <laughs> that, uh, that haircut is so severe, I thought maybe he went through a, bake, a breakup. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like does your dog have bangs? That's crazy. Uh, you have, you have that photo behind you? Well, yeah, this is. I I just said, you know what? I'm gonna join in. If you guys are gonna troll me, I'm gonna troll me right back. So. Dwayne, <laughs> Dwayne, since you haven't seen the movie, this is what I looked like in it. Um, nice, the, nice. The, the redhead one, not the woman. Yeah. Right, right, right. He also has a headband on in the movie, a big white headband on the, in the is, movie. Is uh, my part in my, I don't, you know, I'm just, I really don't know. Is it a comedy or? <laughs> my, my, no. Intentionally? No. Right, right, right. no. <laughs> no, my part is, I'm the comic oh, okay, relief. Okay. I'm the comic relief in a yoga thriller. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> that sentence should be said, dude. This might be what started to unwind society. Comic relief. <laughs> In a yoga thriller, and then pandemic, and then yeah, yeah. civil unrest. You might have been the 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 uh, what, what's it called? The chaos the catalyst. The, the the catalyst. catalyst. Yes. Yeah, like the the butterfly that flapped its wings. Yes. In, in Indonesia. <laughs> yeah. That's what my shirt looks like for sure. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. I mean, it's, Wait, what's great about the movie is that it's an, it's a two hour movie, and for the first hour and forty, there's no psycho. That's just yoga, and then he gets weird. Like an hour and forty. The last twenty yes. minutes is kind of a thriller. Guys, but the first you read the hour title forty wrong. is just a yoga show. It's hilarious. It's the, they misprinted it. It's psycho, comma yoga, comma instructor. Those are right, two right. separate things. <laughs> 
think about it, we are all of us psycho in our own way. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, skin under my fingertips. Nice. Well, well, Ben found a new toy, and we're never going back. I don't think we're ever going back. This is... <laughs> I, I, I feel uh -huh. really... The movie Parasite took <laughs> took from uh, Psycho Yoga Instructor because Parasite was like a fun movie for the first hour. It was just, oh, these guys <laughs> are, you know, they're doing this little thing. They're, they're tricking these people. And then people started getting stabbed uh, about, yeah. about an hour in. So similar, <laughs> similar format. Ben, are we going to start advertising special guests again and you just put a different camera on and pretend to be that person for the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> also, about it. Ben, your mic, about is, uh, your, your mic is clipping. Just a heads up. It keeps getting, it keeps going clip, silent. Clipping. Only when only when you're doing the faces, by the way. That's what's weird. That doesn't make any sense at all. <sighs> <laughs> uh, Rachel wipes Steve Finger, but Ben figures that out. Do we have anything coming in so far? We got any tips to catch yeah. up on before we get to our first comic? We do. We actually had an anonymous two hundred dollar donation to the show. And cool. it was um, awesome. on behalf of anyone who has lost lost a loved one recently. Oh, that is very, very sweet, and Aww. thank you, thank you for doing that, especially because the Martin Grant is a memory of my dad. So thanks for, thanks for doing that. Thank That's you, awesome. thank you. Yeah. Um, do we have anything else coming in? Uh, we had a couple, uh, some Facebook stars: Paige Valentine, Paul Williams, and Danielle O. Awesome. awesome. Thank you for the Facebook stars. We're still narrowing down their exact value. It is somewhere between a million dollars and a rock. So we're not quite sure. <laughs> Facebook's, uh, Facebook's level of transparency is aluminum foil. <laughs> well, a rock and a star are the same. A rock is just a star that's fallen from the heavens. <laughs> Weird. Right. Or ridiculous mountain. cage. Yes. Uh, well, it, it's Nick Cage's <laughs> voice, but still Ben's thoughts somehow. That's the weird part. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the crossbow and I will find you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, let's get to our first comic. I'm very excited. He's a returning champion. He's been on a few times. You've loved him. Uh, he's got two books out. One's called Zombie Run. One's called Hot Chocolate for the Mind. Here's a funny, very, very funny Dwayne Perkins. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, by the way, I don't. I know not all white people look alike, but I, I didn't know that was Nicolas Cage for. I thought it was uh, John Wick. Me neither. I thought it was. I thought it was uh, Keanu Reeves for a second. So, but, <laughs> but as soon as they said it, I was like, of course, of course. Um, <laughs> Thank you, uh, thank you for having me, guys. And um, this, I haven't been able to, to to text everyone back and call everyone back, so I'll do it here. All my white friends, all my white friends who've called or texted in the last two weeks, thank you. I'm okay. I'm doing well. Uh, I haven't had this many white people call me since I had that, uh, those John Mayer tickets. So it's been um, <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> Now, um, I don't know. I don't know how you're spending your, your quarantine. At the beginning of the quarantine, everyone had like grandiose plans. We're going to do this and do that. And most of us did none of it. I think the problem is you have to you have to treat your time like YouTube and not like Instagram. So that's the way they get you. Yeah. Instagram is Instagram is like the 99 cent store of social media, right? Like you walk into a 99 cent store, everything's a dollar. And you're like, oh, it's only a dollar. But then you spend two hundred dollars and you're like, shit, how did I spend two hundred dollars? <laughs> and and that's what Instagram is. Everything is a minute, but you've been on it for four hours because you've been watching a minute by minute by minute thing. YouTube is a better situation because YouTube you can learn. Um, my buddy, I got a buddy just built a deck. Like what? He just followed YouTube and built a deck. Like whatever you need is on YouTube. Like if you grew up and you didn't know your father, don't hire an investigator. Go to YouTube and type. <laughs> <laughs> Go to YouTube and type my daddy, and I promise you, your dad will pop up doing a nay nay. He's there. He's on YouTube. <laughs> nay nay. Um, YouTube is amazing. My, my back, my uh, air conditioner wasn't working recently, right? So uh, I went to the manufacturer's website. Nothing. I couldn't figure out. They made it. They had nothing for me. I go to YouTube, <laughs> right? I go to YouTube. I type in my AC, and three or four guys pop up teaching me how to fix my air conditioner. Yeah, one of the videos was in my apartment. I was like, <laughs> I was like, 
It's like, thanks for it for guys. I really appreciate it. But then my next question, my next question was, who asked you to do this? Like, why, why was this your responsibility? That's what I don't get. Like, what did you wake up at 2 a.m. in a cold sweat? Like, oh my gosh, there's people like that that don't want to fix the air conditioner filter. I've got to do a video. Like, <laughs> anything in a world you need, someone else in the world just said, I got it. I got it. I'll do a video for you. I find that to be amazing. Like, literally, you could go to YouTube and type in, how do I wipe my butt? And some guy will pop up like, hey, guys, Jack Moore is here. Uh, please subscribe <laughs> below. A lot of people ask me, say, Jack, how do I wipe my butt? Well, it's real simple. Here's what you're going to need. Some toilet paper and a butt. Follow me, guys. Like, <laughs> listen, I know that's pretty ridiculous, but understand, I just said that to be silly. But then just to make sure, I typed that in. I went to YouTube. I typed in. <laughs> How do I wipe my butt? Okay. And five legitimate videos popped up. Like, <laughs> no joking, just five instructional. And my thing is, when you make that video, who are you making it for? Like, who do you think needs it? Like, who in the world knows how to read and write? <laughs> owns a computer. <laughs> but also doesn't know how to wipe their butt. Like who? <laughs> I want to see that Venn diagram. I want to see that Venn diagram. <laughs> but you know, I figured out when you make that video, here's what's really going on. When you make that video, what's happening is, cause I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a detective. So in your personal life, you have a friend who kind of smells bad. That's what's really happening. And <laughs> you don't know how to, <laughs> and you don't know how to tell them like all of all the friends of you know, they, but you don't, I don't want to tell them. You tell them. I don't want to tell them. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a hard conversation to have. So instead of having that conversation man to man, you go through the whole trouble of making this video. So next time you see that friend, you're like, yo, Phil, how's it going, man? Yo, you, you see my video? Oh, it's going viral, man. You got to check it out, man. Look, look, check it out. Check it out. Look. Now, now, Phil, is this how you wipe your butt? Is this how you do it, Phil? Is this your strategy? <laughs> is that how you wipe your butt, Phil? Um... <laughs> And uh, I'll say one more thing uh, before I leave. Um, I'm trying to, I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. I'll, I'll say this. Um, I see everyone dressed like a yoga instructor. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and lately, <laughs> like lately, there's like, there's the Peloton bike. There's the Nordic bike. There's the mirror. Like every five years, they'd have another way to work out that happens to cost a thousand bucks. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, what, and what I'm saying, let's go back to Rocky. Think about Rocky three and Rocky four. Rocky three, right? Stallone, you know, Rocky was all, you know, glamorous. He was, he was fancy and Mr. T beat him. And Mr. T was doing chin-ups in a closet somewhere in a basement, <laughs> right? And then, and then Rocky four, Rocky, Rocky had to go to Siberia to train. And <laughs> right, and Drago's got all the high tech stuff, but Rocky went into the, the snow in Siberia. He's, he's dragging logs, he's running in the snow. So just think about that. Like in all those cases, the person who wins is the person who has the least equipment, who just goes to the heart. So if you want to get in shape, move to Siberia, I guess is what I'm saying. That's <laughs> <laughs> my, my time. I'm Dwayne Perkins. Thank you guys. Thank Dwayne you. Perkins, yes. <laughs> Dwayne Perkins, everybody. Dwayne Perkins, how dare you make fun of my YouTube videos? How dare you? <laughs> <Right. laughs> this is real. Just Googled it. Came up. <laughs> sent true. This woman over here thought she was doing like print work. Like this right. woman. <laughs> this is a woman who responded to a Craigslist ad right. and thought it was for Preparation H or something, right. and then it's for this. That's what this was. Right. It's like a fiver. Uh, she like did a fiver. <laughs> yeah, lady, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you want to tip, uh, if you want to tip Dwayne, please do so. The way you do that, you can tip at uh, PayPal is at laughfromhome.com. You can Venmo top right of the screen. Uh, you could super chat, or of course, you can just subscribe to his very informative YouTube channel uh, and learn how to wipe. Yes, uh, yes. So yeah, tip jar is open. Still can't hear you, Ben. Oh no! I know you're saying great stuff too, because you got the Rocky thing on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we sound check. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. There now we, we go. can. Okay. I don't know what happened, but let me just say, I love the end of the act, especially. <laughs> <laughs> let me just say, it really helps. Go to the world of Siberia. You can just punch me, okay? You can punch me, okay? <laughs> and then the other thing I was, 
All right, as I love the beginning of the act because I I don't know how to wipe my butt. Okay. <laughs> you know this video is on YouTube. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> what? Uh, Rachel, what do we got coming in? Oh yeah, Rage. Yeah, so we've got uh, Ron Wainer in a live audience tipped uh, Dwayne ten dollars and said, "Dwayne, stop telling everyone how to do my job, please." <laughs> uh, we you. had Jess in our live audience uh, tip ten dollars. Renee H tip ten dollars for Dwayne. Thank Did you. I hear you have John Mayer tickets? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh boy my stupid mouth has got me in trouble <laughs> that was a john mayer lyric if you didn't know it right. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of hit music nice you know what i'm saying we have hello uh, john mayer oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Savannah Martin tipped uh, Dwayne ten dollars and seventy four cents. Uh, Zara twenty nice. Aussie. Dwayne, that was a hilarious set. Nice. Instructional videos on wiping your butt have nothing on a video on how to clean. What uh -oh. is that? I knew uh, it. Tapier. Ta tapier. Tapier. A tapier is D. <laughs> A tapir's dick. A tapir is an animal. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's yeah. yeah. Why would you have to do that? Why would you have to clean one? Oof. <laughs> huh? Hold on. I'll turn my mic off. Um, after, after, after you milk it, you have to clean it. They're quite large. They're about 19 inches uh, long. Big dick. Whoa. That's, cool. that, that's 100%. Favorite personal animal. Hold on. I thought you said large. Ooh. <laughs> you beat me to that joke, man. I'm so mad. <laughs> after you, after you jerk it off, you go up to clean it. That's 100 percent true. <laughs> you don't want a bunch of dirty dick tapiers running around. That'd be awesome. <laughs> By the way, the dirty dick tapiers are playing next week at the Roxy. <laughs> so, sometimes, sometimes before I get on on a phone call with somebody, I say with this, I might be tape tapier for quality assurance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't make me come down there and treat you. I used to have to clean mixed dick when we were training. Let me just say. <laughs> Where you live, all right, Steve? You would say, get him, Rocky. Get him, Rocky. And I'd be like, I'm trying to get him, okay? <laughs> you understand? Okay, good. Talk about something else. Don't keep looking at me. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel you have the power. All right, so we have uh, Chris Jacobs, 10 Canadian, um, tip for Dwayne, and we're caught up. Nice. Thank you, thank awesome. you. <laughs> Dwayne, did, uh, when, they, when we ran out of toilet paper, I got started doing the flushable wipes, and I'm never going back. It's the, like talking about wiping your butt. Like I'll, It changed my whole life, really. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I also have a, I have a bidet, like a, not a, in the toilet, but you can buy a portable bidet, and those are pretty – Pretty on point as well. Is that a squirt gun? What's a portable bidet? What are you talking about? More or less, yes. It's like a squirt gun. <laughs> Just remember those old super soakers? It's a little tough because you have to pump it first. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's it's shaped in such a way that yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, nope. got it. All right. No joke, but my brother wanted for his birthday this year a bidet for his bathroom that's what i got him a friend of mine owns a install in the toilet bidet company but it's like a hundred bucks or something and you can get a bidet put in your toilet for a hundred bucks yourself oh that's great yeah i just yeah. think it, 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 to me i don't know how every bidet can hit every person in the exact right place exactly right <laughs> I think there, you, you gotta put your butt over the stream there's some work on your part you gotta do something like, Right. Also, it's like, also it's most like people's long... buttholes are on the bottom. <laughs> That's where I keep mine. Do you, do, you th do you think it's like a line in a new printer where you have to like line up the dots and then print it and make sure it was right and then goes like, is that what you're That's doing? exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, hit me in the cheek, a little to the left, is, a little to the left. Yeah, if it, uh, if it comes out pink, you've done it wrong. 
<laughs> You've done it really, really wrong, yeah. The problem is we don't know for sure if, if the bidet works or not. We're asking you to, to spray your ass. We're asking you to spray your ass. We don't know for sure. I don't sure. know what this one is. Fauci. 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 Yeah. Fauci. Okay. Dr. Renzi, the only voice of reason in the whole fucking country. Okay. So we recommend you spray your ass and just stay home. Stay home and spray your ass. You can't hurt the dry. Okay. Stay six feet away from other people spraying their ass on account of the aerosols. Okay? Right. Oh, God. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, that again. I love it. I love it. I love whenever we get the medical advice on the show. I love it. I also heard Crowd here recently said you can completely eat like shit your whole life. You left your 150. It's incredible. <laughs> Fuck vegetables. That's what he said. <laughs> I never said that. I said <laughs> you're lonely. I said if you're lonely. Fuck vegetables. That's <laughs> I don't every time. You realize that like you're two weeks of doing this from Carmel moving out, right? <laughs> don't think I didn't tell Carmel to go have some fun with her friends during this two hours. I did. <laughs> Steve, if I Ben doesn't watch the show, there's no way Carmel watches the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she sometimes she does. And then she tells me how it is afterwards. I'm like, oh, I'm glad. I didn't know. That. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. All right, let's, uh, let's have another comic. All right, let's do it. All right, so uh, our second comic, also very funny. Uh, you've seen her on Brash Girls Club and Laughs Season 1 and 2. Give her very funny. Leah Mansfield, everybody. Woo! <laughs> What's up? Uh, I was gonna say, man, I live in a house, so I have a garden hose with seven settings. That's what I use. I don't need a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Works uh, two hoses, really. Uh, one for my girlfriend, but uh, I live with her. We live in a house, and uh, the previous owners were another lesbian couple, and then we took over. And so we call the house. If these walls could just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you've seen that movie, it's better, but chances are you have to be lesbian to see it. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, so I'm Native American and Irish. Uh, that means I used to have more relatives, and then they got drunk and shot each other. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. It really happened in 1928. Two of my cousins on the reservation got in an argument over who was going to leave and go buy more booze. They got in so mad that they got in a gun like a gun duel and one of them shot the other one dead oh, dear. right Aww. because now you have to <laughs> wait leah we, we, we lost, lost you for just a second there leah. it was in 1928 uh, leah we, you froze oh, for just a second so oh, you shot the other guy Actually, that is wild. That is wild stuff. We uh, <laughs> are losing. Not in the middle of a set, Ben or Johnny or who. Sorry, go <laughs> over the couch in a minute. Hold the show. Man, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> had mics go out on me before, but uh, yeah. it's hard when you can't see anybody. But if, if you um, go back, if you go back to the booze, we didn't hear after that. So the, the oh, the booze. Shot each other. Yeah, shot each other. <laughs> yeah, they shot. They shot each other over who was going to get more booze, which is stupid because if you win, now you have to get the booze. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> no Uber Eats. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad that worked because like no, the internet connection went out and then no one laughed and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I have a big family. I have six sisters and a brother. Four of those Good sisters God. have been strippers. Yeah, four out of six. <laughs> yeah, way to go, mom and dads. <laughs> 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 Strippers, you guys. There's a ton of dads. Some don't even have dads. Uh, my mom had fun in the 70s. Yeah. People have asked me if I've ever, ever considered stripping. Like, uh, you can't see it, but I got pretty small titties. Uh, I don't think. I don't think these are the kind of boobs for, for stripping. These are the kind of boobs that say, "Go to college." Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Eight> checks. <laughs> Just woodworking, you know? That's, that's what I like to do, the woodworking. Um, oh. it's so ironic, right? All these lessons working with wood. Oh, so <laughs> Man, and uh, 
And here's the thing. I got small boobs, but uh, that's not the reason I would be a bad stripper, okay? I'm a Native American and Irish lesbian. There is no rhythm in that package, okay? <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically just be me running up on stage, taking off all my clothes, be like, I'm cold! That light out over there? I'm gonna go put that, I'm gonna go fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, my dad came out to me as a bisexual crossdresser uh, recently. He wants, he says he wants to date men, and he wants to wear women's clothes. And I was like, "Wow, finally, my dad and I make one full woman." (laughs) 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 The bras are straps. You're gonna love that, Dad. I gave them up years ago. My, uh, my mom used to have funny sayings for us, too. She'd be, she's like, you guys, were you raised by wolves? And, and I was like, well, why don't you know? <laughs> You're <laughs> supposed to be in charge. Uh, then, I, <laughs> then I grew up and did some research on wolves. Turns out wolves are monogamous and mate for life. So definitely not, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Military, uh, any I like to add any military folks out there? Anyone? Whoop. Whoop. Did yep. we get a clap? Yeah. Woo. Great. Great. Yeah, I was uh, I was in the Air Force. My job uh, when I was in was to launch nuclear weapons. That's that was my job. Um, yeah, it was pretty boring actually. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've looked outside. That's not what's happening. Um, <laughs> I did 254 alerts. Uh, 254 alerts underground in a capsule, just, you know, with one other person, I, I could have learned French or gotten a master's degree, learned guitar, uh, started comedy. No, you know what I did? I watched over 200 episodes of Cops. <laughs> the only thing I learned was don't go to Albuquerque. That place is a shithole. Uh, <laughs> oh, and yeah, people ask dumb questions about it too. Like, here's one I've gotten. Did you ever actually launch one? Like, <laughs> don't you think you'd remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be the end of things. That would be it. We would not be discussing anything right now. We'd just be looking for canned goods. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like a sad way to end my set, but uh <laughs> Oh, someone said Vander- Vandenberg. Yes, I trained at Vandenberg. Yes, that's what someone said in the chat. Anyway, uh, I've been Liam Mansfield. Thank you so much. Uh, Thanks for- so much, Liam Ooh. Mansfield. Yeah, that was fun. You guys were a lot of fun. Great As job. Always, the tip jar is open yes, top right of the screen for our Venmo. You could pay out laughfromhome.com, or, of course, you can super chat. And, Leah, I do have a question. If small sure. boobs make you go to college, does that mean A's get A's? <laughs> oh, that's a great, that's great. Yeah. A's get A's and no discounts. A's get A's and no discounts. Or if you wanted to tag, price. that is absolutely yeah. yours. D's get D's. There you go. D's get D's. Exactly. They have a lot of fun. They're uh, yeah. they have a lot of fun. It's nuts. Yeah, I went to space camp. That's it. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't touch, Should we put Savannah's anyone. background on for a second? Because that is a, that is a, that is, she dug deep for this one. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> That's that incredible. Really yeah, that that was the that was the premiere the premiere of laughs actually. That, that was the first yeah. season premiere That's, of laughs. That's me laugh interviewing actor. him on stage. That's yeah. me interviewing him on stage. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my <laughs> fault. My fault. <laughs> you are much closer to the camera than he is. You should. You should. <laughs> she, 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 as, as, a, as a good as a good fan, she's making me look smaller by by just being <laughs> right in the front of the picture, look smaller in comparison because that's the fattest I ever was behind her. So that's thank you, Savannah, for supporting me. I appreciate that. Yeah. Aww. Nice. Aww. nice. That's really sweet. All all the support for Bowers. Can I ask why did I get yelled at for trying to fill the gap of a frozen camera? What was that shit? <laughs> Frozen camera seems like, and please not during the set. There was frozenness. First of all, that was, that was, that was I said, said it, that. and it was unfrozen by the time you started talking. <laughs> she was back by the time Touché. you started talking. That was the problem. Okay. Oh, I apologize. So, like, like your internet, you were ninety seconds behind again. So that's what's happening. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> 
laughing. Okay, he's laughing. Oh, that's funny. By the way, I just saw what. Can you show Tam's background for a second? <laughs> just. Oh, God. <laughs> Me flashing with solar panels on the chest for some reason, I think. There's the new Iron windmills. Man. Uh, no, no, those are solar panels. I saw the one that you guys put windmills, but that is the, I guess that's the more, that's the other, that's the green version of me, I guess. I don't know if this is a compliment or an insult, I'll be honest. I, have no I, I think they're trying, to, they're trying to kill you, Steve. If you had solar panels on your chest, you'd, bur you'd burst into flames. You'd be dead. That's not cool. If I walked outside just holding my shirt up like that, I would burst into flames. Like that's, <laughs> I literally have a joke about how redheads can't protest, and I went to do so today, and I was like, this is... I was like, Black Lives Matter, and I'm taking my own life into my hands to do this shit. That's what I'm doing right now. Can I be honest? Can I be honest? The big risk with the solar panels is all the dead birds are going to hit you in the face. You're going to get hit by the dead birds. Okay. Windmills and solar panels, completely disastrous. Okay? Wait, Wait Ben. Ben, can you finish the impression here? Drink like this. <laughs> I support all drinking styles, okay, and also ginger lives matter, and you shouldn't be turning on me, okay, Steve. We're both, <laughs> both gingers, okay, okay, Is that okay. No. No. Rachel catches up on some tips. All right. Uh, Savannah Martin tipped ten dollars and eighty-three cents and said, "Small chested pole dancers for the win. We out here. We also have no rhythm." <laughs> <laughs> True. Thank True. you. Thank you. True. Uh, Renee Same. Hutchison tipped ten dollars. Uh, Stosh you. tipped twenty-five and said, "Awesome job by one of my old USAF nuclear missile crew partners." And no, that's not a sex joke. <laughs> oh, really? Wait, what was his name? What was? Can you read the name again? It was Stosh. Oh yeah, Stosh, Stosh Kowalski. Kowalski. Yeah, yeah, Stosh Kowalski. What yes. a cool name. That's like that the coolest is, name I ever he's heard. He's a cool dude, man. He's a cool dude. I. Uh, you have to be. Him. Yeah, I mean, you have to be. You have By to the be way, good and tough. Stosh and Kowalski, you you're just gonna go through life having a good time, I would imagine. <laughs> I also I love Stosh that Kowalski's it. here. Like, fuck yeah, I am. Let's go. It makes sense that he's military because that absolutely sounds like something a sergeant would yell. Like just like Kowalski, <laughs> get over here! Like that's. I expect to hear that name come up in Call of Duty World War II for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we've got uh, some more fun facts from Zara. She tipped twenty Aussie and said, "I love the set. Alpha wolf pairs are usually monogamous, but males will get with others in the pack. Here's the kicker: they usually stray with those that they're closely related to. Game of Thrones stuff." Oh, God. Ah, this is maybe too much information about wolves. We just stop learning about wolves now. That's, we know enough. They're safe. They're in Yellowstone or whatever. They're safe. Just, just stop. It. stop. I think that was a report by one specific wolf whose husband stepped out her and she's real pissed about it. And wrote happened. I know. That's Sometimes that these wolves leave wolf with their scientist. secretaries. <laughs> He fucked his sister, Alabama woman. Okay. Yeah. She's also a secretary. <laughs> uh, we had Ron Wayner tip uh, tip Leah ten dollars, and then oh, thank you. Tam. Uh, we had a late uh, tip for Dwayne come in. Tam tipped Dwayne five bucks. Thank you, Tam. Nice. You're welcome. Very cool. Yeah, Leah, Thank people always say, I, I, I've heard many women in my life say, oh, I can never be a stripper. I'm the body for it. I'm like, you've clearly never been to a strip bar. Every, <laughs> it's literally every body type there. And whatever you look like, there's a guy there that likes just her and like yeah. comes every day and spends money. Like, it doesn't matter what they look like. And so, yeah, there's a dancer yeah, at, at one of the strip clubs that looks like Bowers. It's a little ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Yeah, my sister does look like me a lot. Come on over. Give <laughs> your dance, all right? I'm gonna give you a two-minute dance. You're gonna love it. I'll make you come in your pants. If you're gonna love it. I'm gonna rub myself <laughs> on you. I'm gonna shake and grind myself right on your, right on your crotch area. You're gonna love it. Let me tell you, I grow on. Is that the hot dog in my pants, or am I happy to see you? We don't know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 
I can argue against that. That's probably a pretty good imitation of how I would be a stripper, for sure. <laughs> when, I, when I got to be an adult, I found out from my mom, um, I was about nine years old when my oldest sister left to go be a stripper. And I didn't know this until I was an adult, but my mom, who's disabled, actually worked in the strip club as a DJ at night for where the same place my sister was working. So my mom was able to introduce wow. my sister at the strip club. And I was like, oh, there is a job for me at the strip club. <laughs> yeah. Coming to the main stage I'm right now, giving it for my baby girl. <laughs> Sis! I'm just so confused. Uh, how, did, how did you become a comic? <laughs> it's weird. Just perfectly normal upbringing. Just right. like uh, Rob at the strip club could have been at the front door handing out the program for everybody coming in. Extra, extra tonight. My sister, fully nude. My sister. <laughs> oh my like, god! Uh, if I could have pocketed some of that money when I was nine, man. You'd be like, you'd be like, uh, you'd be like, give it up, give it up for cinnamon, but. I know that's not her real name, but give it up for cinnamon, everyone. <laughs> she actually used her real name on stage and told everyone it was a stage name because it was the one name no one would guess. <laughs> solid move. That's a solid point. Yeah. So we'll pretend her name is Michelle. It's not, but her, her name was Michelle and her stage name was also Michelle. And so guys would come up and be like, I oh, know it's not Michelle. Tell me your real name. She goes, can't. <laughs> 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 pretty funny that's great yeah. it's, All right, it's, we, a, it's a proud day in a boy's life when he gets a stripper's real name like that's when you really know yeah. you get some inroads you're like cool yes. if you get in a re, if you get in a real your phone way. if you get in a real phone you know you've done something because they all have a stripper phone for their customers so if they have if you get in the you actual know, phone we all hmm. have different goals <laughs> <laughs> yeah. plus it seems like every stripper would have a uh, like a fake real name too, just to make you feel special. You know what I mean? Yes. There's like layers. How many of layers names. does it go? Right. Yeah. Like, right. like you, yeah. you're like, I got the fifth name. She must really like me. She's got like seven more. You don't know. The great is if, if every name was a tier of how much money you'd given her. So like if she, right. if, if you're like, hey, it's yes. Linda. She's like, that's a five hundred dollar dude. Hey, what's up? And he calls you. What, she calls so you. Their names are like the Patreon. Right. Exactly. Like she names the them just so did. she has a so she has a reference of who to talk to so when a guy comes in if he remembers her and says the whatever name she knows what level of giver by, is going to be like by the that. way leah i thought before you explain why she used her real name which is smart as a decoy i thought you were saying it because like that was the name she would know to answer to so like it was a clever <laughs> way where you'd be like come to the main stage it's sapphire and she would just be sitting there like, sapphire that's you you're sapphire no i'm linda i don't know what you're talking about well, 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 when, when somebody strips, it really is about layers because they're, they're peeling away not only clothes, but a lot of childhood hurt, uh, you understand? <laughs> a pain down below, okay? Oh, wait, yeah. Dr. You're right about that. Yeah, how about that? Is it Dr. Phil? That's right. That's right. Oh, okay, okay. Because of the bald head, I couldn't. Okay, I got it. I got We're playing yeah. a game now <laughs> called Name That White Person, Dwayne. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and, and By the way, I don't mind, but we probably should keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ben, can, can we put Ben on screen for a second? No, no, no. Yeah. Put, the, put the face back on. I want to see what happens when you do this. Put the face back on. Uh, I don't even uh, know what you're talking about. What happens when you touch your face? I want to see what the animation does. Here's what happens when I touch my face. Fuck you, okay? <laughs> I touch my face. I want to see if you so can much. peel it off like face off. <laughs> sure, oh, you want me to see, you want to see me peel it off like face off? That's no problem. That's no problem at all. Hold on. It's weird. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Let's go. <laughs> Which it's white Nicholas person Cage. is this, Dwayne? Which white person? <laughs> it's Nick, Nicholas Cage again. Nicholas Cage. Hey, sir. <laughs> yes. Can you wait, Ben? Can you do? Can you put John Mayer on? Oh, that's great. Yeah. That would, that would require creating a new 3D mask, and I don't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> I love that, like, of the 3D masks you made, you're like, all right, I'm going to make Nicolas Cage, I'm going to make Dr. <laughs> Phil, I'm going right. to make Donald Trump, and I'm going to make Bowers. Like, you were like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Sylvester Let me just say, let me just say, I, I don't, I do have John Mayer as my guest today. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> Now you have sunburnt Jay Leno. Sunburnt Jay Leno. I've had a long time lately, ever since my show was canceled, and uh, still with my Conan O'Brien. <laughs> I've been out in Jay Leno's garage, you know, tinkering around, tinkering, tinkering. It's like if Jay Leno was at Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Jay Leno Balumba. <laughs> Jay Leno okay. That looks like uh, Jay Leno fell asleep on the beach, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was just on the beach, just uh, scoping out some of the hot ladies. And, uh, <laughs> and a nice day, and a nice day. And, uh, just looking at it. I thought I had a lot of cars. You want to take a ride in one of my cars? <laughs> <laughs> I got a wonderful chocolate river here. If you'd like to see my chocolate river, it's a wonderful chocolate river. Uh, I'm getting a bidet installed soon. It'll, it'll be gone. Okay? It'll, it'll be gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rachel, on that uh, shit joke, uh, what do we... We have some stuff to catch up on. Uh, so Savannah Martin tipped $10, and she has a live question. So Good. I have a question. Love it. Hey! hey. Oh, the book. <laughs> we missed um, the book, Savannah. Thank you. So, Steve. Uh, I, I don't forget. miss the book. <laughs> <laughs> so... I procrastinated putting you in the book because I didn't want to make a seemingly unproblematic man problematic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, and no. this is, this, I'm just kidding. It's not much of a question, but I did want to let you know that you have tweeted approximately 208 times with the word fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lifetime stats, appalling. Savannah, or is that this week? That, that is appalling that that's only, only 208? What it, am I, yeah, I'm... Two, 208 total. 38 times in 2020, 100 times since May 22nd, 2018, and uh, your record in one tweet is five times at Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> is that a tweet? I'm also curious. I'm also curious if that was before the 280 character limit. Was that with 140 or with 280? Because with 140, it's much more impressive. I didn't, I didn't write down the date, but your first one ever was March 25th, 2009. And that was fuck this fucking cold. I need some sleep. <laughs> what was the one where I said it five times? Oh, hold on. I have the picture. Just give me a second. Oh, I want to see because Steve's got a lot of great big words. Steve and I both have great big words. And so sometimes I have a few big words when tweeting. Okay, you say fuck. Fuck you. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of great stuff. Here, here's what I love about this, by the way, Savannah. I've always, I've always had a theory of like the thing I would love to know most. Like, I would love if when we die, we can find out our statistics of our whole life. Mm. Like the idea of like, yes. oh, I ate macaroni and cheese that many times. Like just weird things like that. Just knowing what all our stats are. And I love that I now know my fuck on Twitter stats. Like that's fantastic. <laughs> and that is something that I want to now see if I'm in it, it, like where the league standings are for the rest of the hosts. I'm curious if I'm in the league. Before, by the way, before my term is done, I'm going to fuck on Twitter, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Live video. So the tweet, the tweet to Donald Trump was January 9th, 2019. And you said, I never thought I would say this to a president, but fuck you, seriously, fuck you, of all the awful things you've said and done uh, and said you will do with holding disaster relief due to political reasons is the most heartless. So fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. <laughs> Gotta say, hashtag fuck by you, it. I think. I stand by it with the exception of, I think he's done way worse stuff since. But at the time... Was that the, yeah. the, the that was the Ukraine the Ukraine uh not the Ukraine um the money he held money from uh, um from where from uh the Joe Biden's son's country yeah Ukraine Ukraine, Ukraine. Ukraine. okay okay yeah that was that that was around that time right uh I think so but it could yeah, be yeah. other <laughs> right, right right like That's which time I... didn't he do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but when he says when he says fuck you, a lot of a lot of people are telling me he likes me. He's a fan and he's coming around. Okay, a lot of people are saying. <laughs> a lot of people. Are <laughs> That's up to you. That's up to you. A lot, you. a lot of a lot of Trump reminds me of that Homer Simpson line where Bart says, "This is the worst day of my life," and Homer goes, "This is the worst day of your life so far." <laughs> 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 this is the worst thing a president's ever done. This is the worst thing a president's ever done so far. You're like, oh, shit. So far. Born like that. He's just a little boy. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Horrifying. He says, I'm never going to be able to sleep again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just sleep. But I call, I call bullshit on how fast he was able to do that, yet he wouldn't do John Mayer. <laughs> 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 In fairness, Dwayne, that wasn't exactly 3D. Right, right. <laughs> or is it ever 3D? Yeah. <laughs> it's not possible. All right, Rachel, catch us up yep. and let's play this game. Okay, so we had uh, Joyce Gomez, $5 for Dwayne. We had Jess, uh, $10 for Leah. Uh, Joyce, you. $5 for Leah. Thank you. We had a... Tiffany, fifteen dollars for the show, and I think we're caught up. All right, right. excellent. Well, 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 let's play this game then. Band yeah. names for the hosts. Okay. I can't, so wait. I can't wait. I'm a big fan of the show, and I can't wait so we can hear <laughs> that name for the quarantine. I love it. My favorite. <laughs> Queen Rachel. Love Queen Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, who was that? <laughs> Uh, that was Clinton, but it's weird with Ben's hair because all these people have great hair all of a sudden. <laughs> Thank you. I did yeah. not have great hair with that one. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Um, oh so these are the ones that I like that were unpaid, and then we'll go to our live audience. It looks like I've had five messages um for a live audience so five people so the game was make a band out of the host chris asmo ben folds five thousand vintage ladies <laughs> <laughs> uh amina sala ari embrace the stupidity <laughs> and then Tesha Lee, I really liked Bone Broth Thugs in Harmony. <laughs> Perfect. Um, all right. For our live audience, I love that they changed their name. So I don't know who the fuck some of these people are, but let's go to Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. These are the ones you're. These are ones you're voting on comics from now on. These are the ones you're voting. Yep. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, I had Blink One Eighty Two Things in Ben's office. Oh yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, by the way, special shout out. I realized like how many like your names. I had two or three lines in that entire movie, and your names are a breakdown of those lines. Like that is. <laughs> incredible i gave you no material to work with and you guys still found a way to do it all right let's go to everest okay. uh i've got um i got a, i got a couple um sdsc slash like acdc um, oh, nice. puns, in, puns and roses <laughs> <laughs> yes. Huey Lewis and the fake news. <laughs> nice. uh, and no more journeys. <laughs> um, that. All right, uh, let's go to headband Tam. <laughs> I'm totally pandering. It's Tom Petty and the Hofstetter. <laughs> Tom Petty in the Hofstetter. Tom Petty in the Nice. <laughs> I love it. And uh, the raised legs pole. <laughs> oh. Oh, pose. 
It's not your fault you're thinking pole. It's not your fault you're thinking pole. All this stripper talk, <laughs> Zara in a tank top. What are you going to do? <laughs> Apparently, Queen Rachel reads the secret. <laughs> I'm going to speak it into the world. Anyway. <laughs> For Bowers, I had red hot chili dogs. <laughs> Thank you. And I nice. had smashing pumpkins because Bowers don't fuck with vegetables. <laughs> nice. nice. And Queen Rachel's complexion matches your top. Nice. <laughs> Let's go to Ron. <laughs> You know, just that was just because Rachel was in the sun today at the protest. That's not blushing. That's. Let me just say, I was a uh, normal skin color too before we saw that. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> did you see this little embarrassment? <laughs> All right. So my entry, I had a four non-blondes and a hot dog featuring SPF 10K. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so then these are the ones, um, these are the rest of them. So I've got Shannon Kerr had a Steve Hofstetter Miller Band. Nice. <laughs> Some people call me a joker. <laughs> not a toker, though, except that one time. Yeah, not a toker. <laughs> this next one's directed at Ben. Jonathan S. says, not the president's of the United States of America. Oh. <laughs> that was a great burn. In fairness, in fairness, their, their band, uh, their band actually had a better press secretary. So. <laughs> secretary was a loser. Okay, was a loser. Candidate was a loser. Okay, it's very hard to win if you're not a loser. If you're a loser, you're, you gotta be a loser. Right. Okay. Look at the way I've mismanaged this pandemic like a winner does, okay? <laughs> oh my God, stop. All right. We've got uh, Shannon Kerr for Tr Chris Jacobs with a twist. Tower of Bowers. Nice. <laughs> Lee Burks has the Run Downers. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. Can I say one more thing real quickly? Really, really, really quickly. Uh, if there wasn't a pandemic that lasted so long due to me mismanaging it so badly, you would never have the social distancing social club. So you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, and also, Mr. Trump, you have brought all the racists out to the front so we can find out who they are, which is also a good service that you've done for this country. They were all yes. hiding for a while, and now Thank they're all like out Thank being you. vocal, and we're going to catch their yeah. asses. So, and I would also just like to take a moment to wish a very happy birthday to anyone else. <laughs> uh, 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 fuck you, Mr. Twitter poet, okay? <laughs> By the way, do you know how many times I've tweeted with I never thought I'd say this to a president, but it's it's more than once. It is definitely more than once. Savannah does. Savannah, do you know how many times? No, no, but I can get that real fast. <laughs> Who is whose account is Savannah is a fucking god and it's just nipples? <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we're not getting yes. demonetized. Yes. Now we're talking, okay? Now we're talking. You finally found my demographic. How are you? I'm looking it's for your vote. Gotta be Jess. That's <laughs> Jess for sure. You have to your vote, okay? Watch right. her head just pop up. What else do What else do we have? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have, uh, did I do Lee Burke's The Rundowners? Yep. Yes. That was the last okay, so uh, Shannon Kerr, Ben Folds 5 Glebe. <laughs> nice. Hidden Virus, Hassel, Hasselhofster and The Owned. <laughs> <laughs> did, he have a, did he have a band? Uh, yeah, he was huge in Germany, remember? He was like a big yeah, singer. Yeah, I know he sang, but I didn't know if he had like a band. All right, well, that's fine. I got to do more research. He wasn't on doing karaoke. Brother. I'm sure there was somebody behind him with a guitar or something. But. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right, what else we got? Uh, we have Renee Hutchison, Red Hot Chili Sauce on an Oreo. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> Team Billy on Oreos. <laughs> 
and then Lucifer added to mm. uh, Jeremy Day's SDC, SDSC and said, Punderstruck. All right, that's it. All right. Well, let's vote right, on well, those. Uh, do, uh, Leah, what was your favorite out of the out of the ones from the live audience on? Well, that that pun the punder. What what say it again? The last one. It was S D S C punderstruck. Punderstruck. Ah, oh, yeah. I uh, I had to listen to a lot of ACDC growing up, so that was a uh, was fun. <laughs> Add to. I love that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I that's wanted to result. Actually, <laughs> that's yeah, actually what happened a- when she got caught in the war. And that was what they did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I served during peacetime, man. It was a lot, like a lot of fast food and stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of ACDC in, in, uh, the, in, the, in, the, in the silo. Uh, yeah. Dwayne, who's your vote? Um, well, uh, let me ask a question. One, the one guy, I think, was it Everest? He said SDSC, right? And then someone else said SDSC, uh, Punderstruck. So, like, uh, are we treating those as two different things? This one would be, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the, the, the second one's the second entry is the Punderstruck part, so. Oh, just that part, okay. not the other part. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, ah, oh, it's tough. I really like the Blink-182, but I think. <laughs> yeah, I like that one, too. Um, I'm yeah. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go blink one eighty two things in Ben's office. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's a good. That was a good one. Awesome. Cool. By the way, I love that Dwayne actually takes it seriously because I can't tell you how many comics have been like, "Sorry, wait, we were supposed to listen. Let me name four. The <laughs> <laughs> list he was written down. His assistant handed to him off off camera, which is nice. Right. That was cool. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ray, choose right, your uh, vote. My vote is for Lola's Blink 182 Things in Ben's office. All right, cool. Um, I like the four non-blonde ones and a hot dog. That was really funny, but I think I'm going to go with Puns and Roses. I like Puns and Roses. <laughs> that right. was solid as well, yeah. Ben, what's yours? Uh, some really great ones. Loved Blink 182, but I like the deep cut. I'm going with Red Hot Chili Sauce on Oreos. Love that. <laughs> All right, excellent. Uh, and and my vote is for the one that's already won, which is Blink-182 Things in Ben's Office. That is fucking yeah. great. Oh, close runner-up was not the President of the United States of America. It was also. <laughs> 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 ah, she's got tiny hands. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, little Trump hands. Uh, yes. All right. Well, you know how to claim the prize already. So, um, uh, all right. Uh, comedians, do you have any that you want to submit or, or, uh, or any of the hosts? Uh, I just had one that already, someone already said the four non blonde ones. So that was pretty dope. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm, I'm hopefully doing live shows soon in Utah in July and maybe Australia in August, but we'll see. All right. All right. Awesome. You don't have to plug right now. We're not about right, pleasure. I know, I know. I just it just came to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we just want to make sure Leah wasn't confused. Leah, did you have anything? Oh you yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say um, Jefferson Hofstetter. Ooh. <laughs> the airplane it's, or Jefferson Starship? Like yeah. Uh, like well, that airplane is definitely not from Air Canada. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Bowers, you have none, right? Oh. And. Um, I personally don't have any, but my dear friend uh, here has three of them. Antonio, uh, would you like to? Antonio Banderas wants to do three. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay. I love him. Hello. It's wonderful to be here with you. thing. Spojo Crow. And now, my three entries for the game. Bar naked, Hofstetter nipples. <laughs> Chris B on the winners. And my personal favorite, Little Hands and the Vintage Ladies. <laughs> All right, I've got a couple. I'm just gonna do them as myself because I don't have a fancy. I don't have a fancy Antonio Banderas mask. Uh, you're a mask. I, I am Antonio Banderas. How dare you disgrace <laughs> me and my family like this? I was referring to Bowers has a fancy Antonio Banderas mask. He just hasn't shown us yet. 
He better produce it, or I will go Zorro on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Steve, can I? Um, my, my, I just thought of one. It's, it's not going to yeah. be great, so I want to throw it in before you do your magic. Um, just yeah. run, run BSC. There you go. Boom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got. Uh, I've also got a blank one eighty two one. I have blank, and you'll miss Bowers eating a hot dog one eighty two. I also have uh, another one for Bowers, which is Green Vegetable Day. Um, <laughs> I have uh, the Jamie Kennedys. Nice. Um, and then also uh, talking heads, and then also a head telling the rest to fuck off. <laughs> so. hey, you should do a retrospective at some point on all of Jamie Kennedy's appearances on the show and call it Hot Tub Time Machine. <laughs> I think that's a good pitch. I think that's a gold cool title. I think it'll get made. I think that will get made for sure. Um, all, right. all right. Well, we did it. Fun show. Uh, so let's say goodbye to the comics. Leah, where can we find you out in the world? Um, I have uh, Instagram and Twitter at Leah Mansfield. I was first for Leah Mansfield's on Twitter. Um, you can follow me there. And, uh, and my dog also has an Instagram because I'm a lesbian. So. <laughs> an excuse for stuff. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> What's his Instagram? Is it at because I'm a lesbian? Is that what it is? Or no, it's <laughs> it's a her, and it's it's Willow Bean the dog. Willow All right, dog. Willow Bean the dog Willow sounds good. She's an Wayne, obnoxious little chihuahua. Little... Sorry. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Like it's a chihuahua. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> Wayne, where do we find you at? Uh, you can find me uh, Dwayne Perkins on Instagram, spelled D W A Y N E. I'm uh, funny DP on Twitter. And Dwayne Perkins every on everything else. Yes. Very cool. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Audience, you especially killed it today. Wow, that yes. was fun. Great what a job, great everybody. audience. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, guys you so were much. A lot of fun. I got to oh, say, I, I am very, very impressed, especially because there were more of you that did that than probably watched most movies on Lifetime. So. <laughs> deal uh i'm seriously i'm gonna show i'm gonna show this episode to the director of the movie and i think he'll get a kick out of it this was hilarious so nicely done. and and we all know that he's got the time because he's not working you know <laughs> uh, sick sick burn sick burn sounds like corona, corona right not because made that movie whose corona. movies you have not been in uh, <laughs> very cool. You can right. find me at Bowers Comedy. Uh, you can find me at Bowers Comedy. Uh, I've got the shows next week with Steve uh, for his uh, with his watch party, and then Ben for his uh, birthday. NowhereComedyClub.com. Check that out. Ben, you got anything coming up soon? Look, Ben had to go, but just quick, quick thing. <laughs> There's a pandemic out there. The air's full of dead, deadly juice. So stay in. <laughs> Go see Ben Glebe's birthday show at Nowhere Comedy Club on June 19th. And don't touch anybody, just stay home. Why did he become Gilbert Gottfried now? I was going to say, I was just about to say that. that. That's who it was before you guys told me it was Fauci. Like, I really thought. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried should be Trump's head medical officer. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, and maybe you die, maybe you don't die. Who cares? <laughs> No. One of my favorite phone calls I've ever gotten in my whole life. When I owned the co comedy club, we had more, uh, Gilbert Godfrey came in, beautiful human, right? And one day, just, I'm like, you need anything? Just call me. And like three in the afternoon, he calls me one day, and he goes, can you bring me a sandwich? <laughs> 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 yes, Gilbert, I will bring you a sandwich. <laughs> that was all he said. Can you bring me a sandwich? And then he's hung up. <laughs> like, Good impression. Good Gilbert Godfrey impression. Yeah. Pretty solid. Uh, all right, and uh, as for me, uh, I got my watch party, and I got a full show coming up at Nowhere. Go to uh, NowhereComedyClub.com, as always. Um, and uh, so this is where we say goodbye to our, our video audience and our comedians. Um, but I want to say happy birthday to Leah. She, they just shot in the chat. It's Leah's birthday, so happy birthday. Oh, Leah. nice. Happy birthday, oh, Leah. Happy birthday. Me? Oh, happy birthday. I thought there was birthday. another Leah. No, Leah Lamar. <laughs> 
another right? Leah, yeah. Yeah. I think it's another oh, I Leah. I wrote this in September. Yeah. That's a different. Okay, that's why I was like, why is she so yeah. confused? She should know when her yeah. birthday is. And then she <laughs> I should. Oh, well, so, so, so Leah first. Lamar's birthday. Let us be the first to wish you a happy birthday. It is the <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got it. You're number one, Ben. You got it. I'm actually wishing you a Great late work. birthday from last year. I apologize. Oh, so. you know what? That's so. I'm still waiting to hear from my uncles. So you're good. <laughs> Those are my birthday too. So fuck all y'all. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I believe Rachel, I've covered that on Twitter already. Rachel, anything to catch up on? <laughs> Yeah, we just had, um, who was it? Samuel Carr sent the show 10 bucks. Nice. Very cool. Well, thanks, Rach. Yeah, excellent. Here and uh, so we'll say we'll say goodbye to our comics and our audience right now. But before we go, I do, uh, as we said in the beginning of the show, um, you know, a couple of us were out at the protest today. And I uh, just wanted to talk about that for a little bit. If you have not been to one and you are not, I understand some people are immunocompromised. Um, and so it is a big risk. We're not telling anyone to do that if you can do so safely being a part of one even if it is just some people were like on the top of a parking garage yelling down like there are ways to do it at a distance as well um it was an incredible experience to be a part of um it's also an incredible thing to just see the humanity of it because there will always be funny things that happen even in moments like this um one of the speakers was like and now i'd like to do a poem i wrote and i'm like only fucking in la is someone going to turn this shit into an open mic? Like, right. oh, like this is ridiculous. Or they're like, and you can follow me on Instagram at, you know, like, so there's still stuff like that. It was also combined with pride, which was amazing to see two communities come together. But also there were a couple of people who were clearly just there for pride and didn't understand that it was also Black Lives Matter. Like there were definitely people who just put on their best booty shorts to fight injustice. Right. Um, it was, yeah. There was all kinds of... There was a moment where we felt like we were really... Uh, Sticking it to the man, I felt like when there was 50,000 or more people with Black Lives Matter signs passing by the dental place with a huge sign in the window that said, free whitening. So I felt like, yeah. <laughs> whitening for life. And we're like, whitening lives, come on, that's not, we don't need to get into that. Um, but yeah, there were some really, I mean, even in something like this, you, you can be able to laugh. And, and we were able to laugh, and it was great to be there with friends. And... It really was. I admit, I was scared going into it. Um, and the, like the second we got there and we just had all that energy, energy around us, um, it just felt so incredible and, and important. And so if, if any of you can make something that's going on by you safely, um, please do. It, it, it really will make a difference. So just wanted yeah. to say that before we, before we finished. Nice, man. Thank you. Yeah, I love that. And um, also, there's no real reason to be scared once you get out to these things. You, you realize that the little bit of violence there was the first few days, that was a fringe element. But this was literally huge numbers of people that were out there just supporting a very important cause, which is, I don't understand how it's controversial or up for debate. It's equality for human beings. It's insane that that is not the most obvious thing for us all to easily be able to stand up for and stand behind. So just do something please just do something because like i said at the beginning of the show they can't say no to everybody if the entire world and if everybody in this country for the issues we are facing stands up and says we will no longer stand for this we must re start retrain replace the police divert funding and make all of the policies in place that can actually take the action to reduce police brutality and get rid of this scourge in our society we can have the world that we want and even if you're like indifferent about it for some weird callous reason, wouldn't you rather live in a chiller, happier world anyway? So just support your fellow human beings and everybody wins. There's not a loser in that. So and I'm so glad you did not say that as Nicolas Cage. That would have really muted. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, yeah, it was not, incredible. Not and also speaking of safety, um, you know, there were only a few of the hundred thousand people we saw, there were only a few not wearing masks. Almost mm -hmm. everybody had masks on, um, which was incredible and impressive. I think the most dangerous thing about it for me was just the sun. And aside from that, it was... You know, if, if, every... if you're going to do it, wear the mask, okay? Please wear <laughs> the mask. Jesus Christ, I thought okay? we were past it. You brought right, it up. Anyway. Brought it up. Yeah, <laughs> point is, 
Yeah. Point is, uh, you guys, uh, you you've heard you you've heard what we have to say on it, and uh, but we just wanted to share with that. So, um, that said, um, let's say goodnight, everybody. So, uh, uh, shut your cameras off and and whatnot, and that's it. Thank you guys. See you. Thank you, Dwayne. Thanks. Thank you, so much, Leah. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, yeah, great show again, guys. Thanks so much. And uh, you know, keep fighting the fight. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna go put aloe on just in case. You never know. <laughs> I'll I'll know who aloe is, but let me just say. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> We have great, we have great show today, okay? And we set up top of the show, we have a good show, and I was one of the little four-legged tripod, and I think we did it today together. <laughs> we did it with one team, okay? And people are always asking me, what's in the box? And to me, what's in the box is in your head, you know what I mean? It's mental, it's what's, what's in the box. It's, it's, it's your fortitude and your ability to to persevere, you understand? So that's what could be inside each of your own personal boxes, okay? Well, what's in the actual box? <laughs> no, I, don't, I can't hear you the question. Show me your box. <laughs>